Some days you wake up and you just know it's gonna be a bad day. You feel like trash, you don't wanna get out of bed, and all you wanna do is wallow in your downward spiral of self-loathing. This video is for those days. everyone, it's Hannah. So originally when I would planned out this video, I kind of had in mind like a how-to self-care guide and all that I had in mind was really just a title, which was what to do when you wake up and you feel like hot garbage. <laughs> but then as I started filming this video, it kind of evolved into its own thing and I kind of just let it be. And now it's essentially a day in my life vlog slash how I self-care vlog slash I don't even really know with a lot of awkward dancing breaks in between. So you're gonna have to excuse that. <laughs> but essentially my goal was kind of just to take you through a day where I'm not really feeling the best and just kind of show you guys what I do when I'm in this state and what I've been doing consistently or at least trying to do consistently for the past few months on my off days and how it's helped me and how it's not always helpful and just, you know, talk about all that and hopefully this can help some of you as well. Also, I get a lot of messages from you all asking for my skincare routine, so if you were wondering what my skincare routine is, this is my skincare routine. The first thing I always like to do whenever I'm having a really bad day and I just don't feel like doing anything is doing my skincare routine because it always makes me feel like I've accomplished something even if I haven't really done much of anything. I'm also hypercritical of myself even on a good day, so when I'm having a really off day, it's nice to just take time to do something that's just entirely for me and doing my skincare routine is definitely that for me. It just makes me feel good and it makes me not have to think about anything except for how my moisturizer feels on my face and sometimes it's nice to just have that mental break. So if you haven't noticed, one of the main things I always do whenever I'm not having a good day, or honestly on any day, but especially when I'm not having a good day, is listen to a lot of music. I always have a playlist on Shuffle and I listen to some of my favorite songs at the moment and I dance and sing along to them because it just always puts me in such a good mood. On this day in particular, I was listening to my Summer 2020 playlist which has a lot of K-pop, a lot of Chloe and Halle, and a lot of folklore because that's pretty much all I've been listening to lately. Hello and welcome to my closet. The lighting in here is awful because there's just like one exposed light bulb above my head, so excuse that. But this is my closet. Yes, I have an Eevee backpack just sitting in my closet because why would I not? I love Eevee. If you didn't know, Eevee's my favorite Pokemon and just like one of my favorite things on earth. So that's why she just sits here because I love Eevee. <laughs> Anyway, on days when I feel particularly bad, uh, like today, either I wanna dress up like really nice to just like make myself feel good about myself, or I just wanna be as comfortable as possible. But today I'm feeling kind of in the middle of those two. I started off the morning feeling really, really bad, but honestly like doing those things already in the morning, having breakfast and stuff made me feel a little bit better. So I'm like a step above the like not caring, just throwing my hair up in a bun and wearing like leggings and a t-shirt and leaving. But I also don't have the energy to put on like a whole dress and like do makeup or anything. I I'm not doing makeup today, no way in hell. So we're going with my medium look, which means comfy clothes that I feel really good in, and chapstick, tinted lip balm to be specific, and earrings, because that always makes me feel like I'm more put together. So that's the look we're going for. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet, we gotta pick that out. Okay, my final look, jeans and a black t-shirt. Keeping it simple, keeping it simple. <laughs>
Okay, so I already feel like I'm in a much better mood, which is a really good thing, but I wanna go outside and go for a walk because I feel like I need some fresh air. I haven't been outside in days, literally. So in an effort to get myself to feel even better and also not lie around all day, um, I'm gonna go for a walk because I think that would be really helpful for me. Getting some fresh air always helps me. I'm really just gonna walk around my neighborhood a little bit. Usually if I really feel like I should just go outside, I will just go in my backyard or something um, just to get some fresh air for a few minutes and come back inside. I've got my sunglasses to protect my eyes from the sun and also push my hair back because I like this look. <laughs> and the most important thing whenever I go for a walk, next to sunscreen, which I already put on my face, so if you're going outside, make sure to wear some sunscreen because it's good for your skin. But then the second most important thing, I guess for me, Headphones. I need headphones. Clearly, I really like listening to music when I don't feel good or just at any time of the day, honestly. But especially when I'm not feeling well, I listen to lots of music. So I need my AirPods, which are one of my favorite things that I own. I got them for my birthday last year and they're incredible. <laughs> so AirPods so I can drown out the sounds of the world and listen to some music and bob along as I go for a nice little walk. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I just realized I made the mistake of wearing tinted lip balm or anything on my lips when I'm gonna be wearing a mask. I never think about these things. So that walk was actually super nice. Um, I really should do that more often because I always tell myself like going for a walk is good for you. It always makes you feel better. And then I just never go for a walk, never. But it really does make me feel better. And I actually stayed out way longer than I anticipated, but then my mask was making it hard for me to breathe. So I came back home. Cause that's what we do. When you can't be out in a mask, just don't go out. It's not that hard. <laughs> Anyway, whenever I do something physical for my body like that, it always makes me feel so much better, especially as someone who is recovering from an eating disorder and has struggled with excessive exercise. I've never been able to look at exercise and like just movement as healthy before. Like I've never looked at it in a healthy way. I've always looked at it as a means to lose weight or to change my body or something. But lately I have been focusing a lot on making sure that the movement that I do is coming from a place of like self-care and not with the self-care intention that a lot of people have to like improve their health and improve their bodies and whatever blah 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 no like it literally just makes me feel better in that moment even it's not even about the long term all the time it's literally about like in that moment i just like feel better having gone for a walk i feel better having done like 15 minutes of yoga and it just makes me feel so much better and it's always just with that intention just the intention of making me feel better shifting the way that i think about movement has been really, really beneficial in both my recovery and just my mental health on a daily basis. It's just like a different way of thinking about my body, which has been very helpful. And it was very helpful today um, because this made me feel a lot better. I really just like woke up this morning feeling like absolute garbage. Like yesterday I uploaded a video and I was feeling pretty good about myself for the majority of the day. I was happy with the video, happy that people were enjoying it. And I was excited to make more content, edit the other video that I'd already filmed and just get back to kind of like regular. And I was feeling like excited about that. But then last night as I was going to sleep, I, just like had all this anxiety like rush into my head. And I know this always happens in like this pattern, like I can clearly see it happening. That's why now it's actually a lot easier for me since I can detect it to try and overcome it and try and work through it before I like couldn't detect it. I just suddenly felt great and then I felt like trash and I, I couldn't navigate it. But now that I can recognize this pattern of I'm feeling good about myself, my brain tries to take that away from me because anytime I start to feel good, my brain is like, no, no, here's all this doubt. Here's all this anxiety. Here's why none of this is gonna work, here's why nobody likes you. And then it tries to take all that away from me and then make me feel like trash again so that I can continue to wallow and suffer. But now that the smart part of my brain has detected that, I know every time I feel good about myself, my brain is going to tell me that I shouldn't feel good about myself and try and make me feel terrible. So now I'm always hyper aware whenever I feel good, that day is probably gonna be followed by a really trash day. So I can prepare for it and find ways to motivate myself 
and get myself to understand that I don't have to feel like trash the next day just because I felt good about myself. I can feel good about myself for multiple days at a time. I can continuously feel good about myself. Yes, I'm gonna have off days here and there. Yeah, I'm always gonna have moments where I feel really bad, where I don't like myself, where I doubt myself and I have all this anxiety because I have anxiety. <laughs> but if you know what the pattern is, you can work through it. And I've definitely noticed that. It's gotten a lot easier over time. At first it was really frustrating because I could detect this pattern. I could always tell what day I'm gonna feel really bad, but I couldn't do anything to like change my mood. But ever since I started like trying to do this every day where I feel like this, every single time I do it, I'm building up that like muscle essentially. It's like building a muscle. You're building up that muscle. At first it's really hard and then you do it one day or you do it a couple days consistently and then you just like break down and you can't do it anymore for a long time. And then you go back and you try and do it again and this time you can do it for more than two days in a row and then you crash again and it's kind of like that. You just have to practice and like build it up and that's kind of what I've been trying to do. Like I can't do this every single day when I don't feel good. I really can't. Like don't think that I do this every single time I'm having a garbage day where I I feel like trash and I don't want to do anything and my mental health is just like in the gutter. I don't do this. Most of the time, quite honestly, I literally just lie in my bed and wallow. That's what happens. I'm not going to pretend like that's not what happens. But over time, it has gotten much, much easier for me to get myself to get out of bed, stop wallowing, take care of myself, eat something, go about my day and just function at my full capacity or even half of my capacity. I don't have to be at zero, I can be at 50. <laughs> and it really does take time. I don't want any of this to come across as me saying like, if you just do your skincare routine every single day, you're gonna feel so much better and your mental health will be perfect. Cause that's just not fucking true. It's not true. I have tried it, I have tried that and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I was in treatment for like two years. So this is not me sitting here telling you that doing this on a daily basis is just gonna make you feel better. You can't do this on a daily basis. If there's anyone who does this on a daily basis, please teach me how because I don't know how to do that. But <laughs> doing something like this for yourself on a semi-regular basis or even a regular basis if you can get yourself up to that after having sought out professional care if that's something that you need if you're really struggling with your mental health after doing the foundational things that you need to do to take care of yourself going to therapy if you can talking to people around you if that's not an option seeking out any form of therapy that you can find for yourself because i know therapy is not completely accessible to everybody which is awful but finding some type of thing that can work as therapy for you in any way that you can find that and building a foundation to work off of this is where this step comes in this didn't come out of nowhere i just want that to be so clear okay like i didn't just wake up one day and start doing all of this and start feeling better it took years it literally took me years years and years and i am still not even there uh, most days i am still feeling like trash that's just the utter truth even with the years of therapy that i went through even with the years of practice of trying to do this for myself as regularly as possible i still don't feel good all the time <laughs> so you just have to know that it's really hard it's really 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 hard and it takes a really long time to get to a place where you can start to feel like you can do this to take care of yourself. And again, this is very different for every person. It's super subjective, obviously. What works for me isn't necessarily gonna work for someone else and what works for someone else won't necessarily work for me. But I'm just saying, if you're the type of person who is like me, who has been struggling with a lot of these things in a similar way that I've been struggling with them, maybe this can help you. Maybe even if you don't struggle with the things that I've struggled with, maybe if your personality is completely different from mine and you do take really good care of yourself, maybe there's still something in this video that you can notice or um, find that can be beneficial to your life in some way as well. That's all I'm trying to say um, and yeah I just want to be very clear that um, self-care is so much more than just doing a face mask and drinking enough water. It's so much more than that. It's effort. It's literally effort to care about yourself and I've realized that after a very long time, after a lot of effort of trying to care for myself, I've realized that I have to look at self-care as work because it is for me because I am not used to it. I'm really just not used to it. My brain isn't used to it. My body's not used to it. It feels foreign and unnatural and I don't like it. So it takes a lot of energy for me to actually try and care for myself. So that is why this takes so long. That's why it's a process. That's why it's a lot of work. And you have to recognize that before you try and do any of this for yourself. Otherwise, you're just gonna be disappointed. I don't even know how relevant that is to like the entirety of this video, but I just feel like I needed to say that. So yeah. <laughs> I 
think a key thing for me on days where I don't want to do anything is finding things that I really love to do, but that don't really take much out of me. For me, that's playing the piano. Usually music, if you haven't been able to tell throughout this whole video, is a really important part of my life, and music always helps me feel better, so that's why I tend to turn to it whenever I'm in this type of mood. And sometimes that means playing the piano or listening to music and singing along and dancing in my room, but I also think it's really important to remember that nothing about this process is linear. Because one minute you could be dramatically singing along to folklore alone in your room, until the lyrics hit and you remember why you were so depressed in the first place. I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Exile came onto my playlist and then it just put me in this mood because the whole Folklore album has basically been the only thing that's been getting me through a like friendship breakup that I went through recently and yeah I've just been really sad about that and every time I hear Exile I just like kind of start crying so I don't think that helped um I think I need just some upbeat music today no Taylor Swift no folklore <laughs> to just like let you know where my mind's at today I'm just in a very like self-doubty space I'm doubting everything I'm doing I'm doubting making this video <laughs> I'm doubting my relationships with everyone I'm doubting my own creativity and my ability as like a content creator and yeah I, I'm just like in this space where I feel like Nothing I do or make is ever gonna matter, it's never gonna be as good as anyone else's, so like, what's the point? And I know it's like a really bad space to be in, I know it's not helpful, I know it's not true, but my brain is trying its absolute best to convince me that all of that is true. Because I felt okay most of yesterday and I was like, no, people care, what you're doing is fun, you like it, it's good. And now, I don't feel that way. I just... I just want some self-confidence, okay? I just want some self-confidence. I want to believe in myself because I think about how powerful I would be if I actually believed in myself. Like, think about it. Think about how much you could accomplish if you actually believed in yourself. Every time I think about that, I get really sad because I'm not doing those things because I don't believe in myself. But we're not gonna wallow anymore. I did an hour of wallowing. That's all I'm gonna accept for the day, um, at least for now. And I'm gonna go make myself some food. Maybe I'll watch some Run BTS or something, who knows. I'll watch something fun. So I really did want to end this video on a happy and uplifting note and say that I took all of these steps to make myself feel better and it worked and I felt great by the end of the day. But in all honesty, that's not what happened and I think that's kind of my point with this video. I guess that's my thesis. You could say that sometimes no matter how hard you try, no matter what steps you take to try and improve your day, to try and improve your life or yourself, sometimes it's not gonna work. And honestly, that's okay. It's part of the process of starting to feel better. So as much as I wanted to tell you that I ended this day feeling my best and being super productive and doing everything that I'd wanted to do in the first place, none of that happened. I really just made myself a kind of mediocre lunch and then watched a couple episodes of Avatar The Last Airbender to cheer myself up a bit and then I had a lot of self-doubt as I was editing this video and contemplating all of my life choices and debating whether or not I should just delete my entire existence off of social media because what's the point of anything anyway? <laughs> But despite how difficult it may be at times, I think I've started to learn to accept imperfection as part of growth. I've learned to stop punishing myself for not being happy. Because life is just so much easier when you're not at a constant war with yourself. And at the end of the day, regardless of if it was good or bad, I know that I enjoy what I'm doing. And as long as I have that, and as long as I can bring even the slightest bit of joy to other people too, that's enough for me.